Hunter Biden pleads laptop amnesia, defends Marisma appointment. Hello, I'm Biden, and I am looking stunning. He's a stunning man, isn't he? He's a gorgeous, gorgeous human being. I mean that with all facetiousness, truly. I mean, he looks like, he definitely looks like Skeletor's uh, definitely uh, handsomer brother, but still, it's got a Skeletor effect going on in the eyes there. A little deep set, wondering all there. And this is him at his best. This is him at his best. So there's something about this man. It's a very strange man. 60 minutes denied Russia hoax. Biden scandal existent. This is from the Federalist. From, uh, it says, uh, there's the excerpt. It was less than six months ago Donald Trump campaign released his full interview with CBS's Leslie Stahl after the anchor pledged on set to refuse to air legitimate and verified claims by the Republican president. Now the network's flagship program faces another round of what's become routine backlash for activists reporting it recently with their uh, basically uh, trying to map out for corporations how they could use their billions and billions of uh, internationally gotten dollars to affect the American democratic process. We're going to get to that later on. 60 CNN's Brian Stelter heaps praise on Hunter Biden memoir. That's right. It's just so wonderful. He's such a wonderful guy. Well, he didn't grab any by the what? Well, he probably did grab some people by the what's what's, but that would be okay. Even if he said it, it'd probably be okay because it's Hunter Biden. Uh, CNN's Bi but it's not okay for any politician that has proclaimed such wonderful things in our society. CNN's Brian Stelter heaps praise on Hunter Biden memoir. Uh, Brian Stelter read a lot of memoirs, he says, and on Sunday described his most recent raid as extraordinary and <gasps> breathtaking. It's like all these, they, they use, they use such religious terminology, these, these folks within the DNC. They're, they're literally trying to create a state religion. <laughs> uh, whatever. Okay, just keep moving. Just keep moving. Nobody wants to see this. Hunter Biden says he could have been either dead or in jail. That's the headlines for LATimes.com. Geraldo Rivera compares Hunter Biden to Matt Gates. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's a fair assessment from what I've seen from the Get Matt Gates story. You know, interestingly though, I, I mean there are some conservatives. I'm, I'm not a conservative, but there are some conservatives that uh, they they're definitely uh, calling out Matt Gates and saying this is bad. And there are plenty of conservatives also that are trying to put their head under the sand and pretend Matt Gates doesn't exist. That's that's exist. But when it comes to the DNC, the Hunter Biden coverage is is almost wholly complete. There's just maybe Jimmy Dory and people like him, but they're a significant minority within the in the DNC compared to the amount of conservatives that are willing to call out uh, call out their guy Matt Gates for being, well, at the very least a Lothario <laughs> at the very least and Dan Bongino slams media hypocrisy over Hunter Biden laptop story. Yep, they're not going to touch it. They're just not going to touch it. And they made sure not to touch it during the election because they were, they're, they're on the side of the angels, don't you know? 